for animal rescuers, whenever any of the animals in the shelter are adopted, it's a special day. But you know you're doing something right when you've reached 2,000 adoptions. That's exactly what Paws and Claws Animal Rescue and Resort in Hackensack has accomplished. A reporter, Matthew Freeman, got to witness to the, the 2,000th adoption and tells us the story of how Chip got adopted. Welcome to the Paws and Claws Animal Rescue and Resort in Hackensack, where they just reached an amazing milestone, 2,000 adoptions in a little over six years of being open. We've had over 1.1 adoptions per day since we've been open here. And what's really warms our heart is when you see these animals come from a pretty tragic area and then they go home and they're going to live, live a great life with a family, other cats or dogs in the family and kids, and they're going to just complete that family. Whenever someone walks into a shelter like Paws and Claws, you would think the person is the one doing the adopting although the workers at Paws and Claws would disagree. What happens so often when, you know, people come in, they think they're going to adopt either a special cat or a, a dog, but that there's an animal that ends up choosing their own owner. That is exactly what happened with Chip, the hound mix, and an employee at Paws and Claws. So I fostered him for like four or five days. So I take dogs home just to get him out of the rescue atmosphere, give him a little home life, brought him back home, and four or five days later, I just, I said I'm adopting him. The story of how Chip was found and came to Paws and Claws is one that may tug on the heartstrings. He was very emaciated, very lethargic, defeated. He did not want to live anymore. Full of porcupine quills, full of infection in his mouth and his nose. He was very sick. He didn't feel good. We had to sedate him right away and pull quills. Got him on pain meds, antibiotics, and as you've seen, he's looking pretty good. <laughs> Paws and Claws decided to hold a special celebration for Patty and Chip on being the 2000th adoption. But Patty just couldn't wait to bring Chip home. He checked all the boxes. He loves my cats. And he's mellow. And he just hangs around the yard with me. And there were so many new things that he wasn't even aware of. Like, I turned on the television. And he was just, oh my God, look at these people. You know, what is that? But yeah, he's adapted well. So I love him and he loves me. He's just a sweetheart. Very, very, very good boy. Reporting from Hackensack, I'm Matthew Freeman, Lakeland News. Paws and Claws will hold its annual fundraiser purse night on April 20th at the Northern Lights Casino in Walker with all the proceeds going toward the health and well-being of the rescued pets at Paws and Claws. Lakeland News is member-supported content. Please consider supporting Lakeland News today.